James here to spend a, spend a couple minutes with you. Uh, we'll start it out. Uh, Doug Lamarice, go ahead and lead us off. Yeah, I think your mic mute is too. Sorry, man. All right. Sorry about that, Jameson. How, how did you feel like last season went for you, and how do you feel like you've grown as a receiver um, in the offseason and what you've shown in spring so far? Uh, I feel like last season was a, was a good season. Like, uh, I, feel, I just feel like it was a good season overall. Made plays. Uh, I had fun. had a lot of fun. I feel like I got better as the season went on also. Uh, but this this off season, I feel like I got I got a lot better. I've been just working on certain things and then perfecting those certain things to become a full wide receiver. All right, let's go next to Tony Gerdeman, Buckeye Scoop. James, we asked uh, Coach Hartline what allowed Mecca and Marvin to have their black stripes removed, and he said that a lot of it was from their peers telling you know giving that feedback. So what have you seen from those two that allowed that to happen for them? Uh, really, I just been seeing a lot of plays made. You know, Marv, he he a ball hawk. He he, if the ball in the air, he gonna get it. Mech too, he made. They just make a lot of plays, and I'm one of the guys that's vouching for him to get the stripe off. I'm like, we need strike, we need a strike, because when I was a freshman, that's what happened to me. Like, we need a strike, so I'm vouching for those guys. Like, we need a strike. With me seeing the plays being made by those two guys. Alrighty, next up, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Hi, Jameson. Uh, Saturday will be the first time you guys have played in front of really any sizable number of fans. How excited are you for that? Um, you know, what do you think that'll the atmosphere will be like on Saturday? Well, I think the atmosphere will be crazy. You know, Ohio State fans, they go crazy. So I'm hoping we, we get out there Saturday, have a good time, just have fun, play ball, you know, what we do best. Uh, I'm just looking forward to a good time, really. All right, thank you. All right, we'll go next to Joey Kaufman, Columbus District. Jameson, what has it been like to, to build chemistry with these uh, new quarterbacks this uh, camp? This uh, it, it, it hasn't been, like, a hard type of task. Like, we, we out there every day. We get into it. So, like, it, it's kind of like Ross on there, like QB throw to the wide receiver. We got to get open. Like, it's, it's really much it's, – it's not that hard of a task, I, w I would say. All right, next up, Patrick Murphy, 247. Jameson, you said there are things you're working on to perfect. Um, I'm curious what, what specific things you think you can get better at to, to be a bigger factor in this offense? Uh, better routes, most definitely. Um, catching the ball more consistently. Um, basically, like, playing around with my speed. Like, I'm a fast guy, you know. Uh, sometimes put the speed on the DB, make them open up. Sometimes I got to tighten um, tempo a little down a little bit, get a better route in. So basically those things, like the speed with the route, the speed, the routes, and the catch. All right, let's go next to Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. Jameson, I want to ask a little bit about Julian Fleming and what you guys are seeing from him behind the scenes as far as just his 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 practice uh, performances or his, his work ethic, those sorts of things, um, just because we haven't been able to see him that much yet in games. But what, what's impressing you guys about him um, along the way? Uh, I just feel like Julian is a real great ball player. Like, he, he gets it done. Like, he – and most people might not know, but he really fast. Like, he's really fast. To me, I see – like, when I see Jewel, he's fast. And that's a good thing to have. Like, speed is a good thing to have as a receiver, I would say. But overall, I would say, like, Julian is a ball player. He makes plays also, just like everybody. Like, he makes plays. All right, we'll do two more for Jamison, and then we're going to bring in Chris Olave. Uh, we will go to Jeremy Birmingham. Jeremy. Hey, Jamison, at times, do you kind of feel like the forgotten man in this offense, and at least not maybe in the offense itself, but the way that it's talked about and considering your contributions in, like, the Clemson game and towards the end of last season when you were really stepping up, do you feel like maybe people don't give enough credit to where your role is in this offense? Um, no, nah, I really don't feel left out. And, and, like, me personally, I really don't look forward to, like, other people crediting me because, like, I know it's going to come. Patience is, like, no. 
For you, for you though, how important was it to make those plays in, in that Clemson game and towards the end of the year? How much different did that make you feel heading into this next season? Uh, I feel, I feel great. I, I felt great making that play. Like that was, that was a play. Like, uh, like I feel like it was one of the best plays like I made throughout my career. Big touchdown, big game. You know, um, like I feel like it, it just, it just set me up. You know. All right, and we'll wrap up Jameson with Austin Ward from Letter Monroe. Jameson, I think a, a lot of us were surprised that Chris elected to come back for one more year. Uh, what is he like as a leader for your room, and how meaningful is that for Zone 6? Uh, he he, excellent person, excellent big brother, excellent everything. Like, Chris is, is just, you know, big bro to everybody. You know, he's the oldest in the room. Uh, look out for everybody. Make sure every, everybody doing good. Like you know, you you mess up on something, you make sure he gonna get that right and everything. So like, it was it was great seeing Chris come back um, to play senior year at Ohio State. Awesome. All right, Jamison. Thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it today.